Hello everyone, George here. And as you can see, we are back on F1 Clash as always to play the opening round of the Spanish Grand Prix. And today it is gonna be on my main account. And we are currently with 2.2K flags. And by the way, we are eight subscribers away from reaching our first milestone. So please just press that subscribe button and let's get to that 1k so for this one i'm gonna be using russell at level one latifi at level four and as for the tune well basically during this first grand prix event with level one series 12 drivers i'm gonna be using a fast pit stop time setup which we are gonna be seeing how it's gonna work i did play my first four races i did score 54 points which is let's say kind of better than what i scored from four races in the qualifying round so up until now i'm in p12 and let us continue and hopefully we can make it into the final round race five is gonna be around red bull ring and obviously we are gonna be starting from the back of the grid every single time i'm gonna be forced to use boosts as well as i'm looking to score every point possible so it is gonna be a one-stop strategy around every single track as you can see it is p23 and p24 so we are gonna be going for five laps on our first stint we're gonna be pitting with service and we are gonna be boosting to finish so as long as we get a decent getaway a decent start pick up a couple of positions it's all gonna be good but around Red Bull Ring, uh, this is a tricky um, one because turn one is always where you struggle to get positions. And you can just see here how um, George Russell is struggling. And after picking up some positions, he's down again to P23. So we're going to be conserving most of the time. We are just going to be um, boosting to support boosting to pick up at least some positions before going into the pits and i know that we aren't gonna be scoring 20 points per race because we have red bull ring we have baku we're gonna be having um 50 percent rain around spain in our final race and the only downside in this grand prix is because you are starting from the back of the grid with such bad overtaking um you are gonna be let's let's take it up to 75 percent chance of being outlapped by the leaders of the race which is gonna basically ruin everything and you are gonna be stuck behind those leaders until they reach or until they cross the finish line so you can just see here we are cruising but we are cruising in the back of the grid so you can just see the ferrari car is nearly there and if he goes for four laps at the start of this race we are gonna be under threat all right so he, he does go to pit so we are safe for this one lap we are gonna be boosting with russell um i believe the entire fifth lap just to avoid stacking a lot and basically in this grand prix especially or let's say in every grand prix that um, you play without having at least a level 3 series 12 driver you have to use a fast um, pit stop time setup because you are going to be losing so much time and you are already in the back of the grid so the good thing here is i'm using the street shark which is gonna help Russell reached the pits without running out of tires, but he's um, he's down, I believe, one lap of fuel, and he's going to have to cut down early, um, I believe, at the start of lap seven. And you can just see, we are already down again to P22, and Latifi is in P24, and by this stage, I believe, we have been lapped by the leaders with Latifi, Hopefully we can um, cruise or we can overtake all these cars here. You can just see Russell. He, 
yeah, <laughs> I don't even know what to, what to say around here. Russell was already in front, but like um, our rival or the AI car just kept squeezing him against the border of the track. And yeah, we lost both of those positions. And this is gonna be such a bad race for us. All right, are we gonna make the overtake? The answer is gonna be yes this time. Stroll in front should be an easy overtake, especially with the street shark. All right, we are up to P19. Latifi, the king Latifi is still stuck in P24. And the problem is when you are lapped, why did he go off track, bro? Oh, all right. The problem is when you get lapped by AI cars, your driver just like it's like he's he's putting some Altico on his freaking car, bro. And he's just he gets stuck against the wall and he doesn't overtake the AI car in front um, unless they are out of tires or they have a breakdown which is basically gonna ruin everything you worked for during the race. So a good thing Latifi got up again to P21. We finished in P19 with Russell. That is gonna be 10 points on to the next one. Next up, we have Austin, USA. And for this one, it is possible with Latifi and Russell to go for a two-stop strategy. Um, your three stints are gonna be on soft tires. We are qualifying in the back as well. We are facing Norris and Charles at, from Series 12. It is obviously an AI here, but the good thing is that I do have a low pit stop time setup. But um, I don't regret going into Champions tier because this first Grand Prix is all about testing. And if we can make it, to the final round and we can, let's say, unlock a couple of Series 12 cards, then that is gonna be honestly amazing. The thing is, in Series 12, you only have Epic cards. So basically, if I'm gonna unlock some assets or drivers from Series 12, it is gonna be one part, or probably, if I'm lucky, we can unlock two cards. Because most of the time you can get um, let's say two different drivers or two different components or let's say one driver and one component from a rewards crate so we are currently up into p14 with latifi we are in p20 with russell but personally um, i think this is not gonna end well especially that i'm running a two-stop strategy here and I believe the AI is going to be going for a one-stop strategy because Lando Norris is just amazing in Series 12. And Charles is, as well, a very OP driver. So we are going to be going for one extra lap here with both of my drivers. And you can just see how Norris is just so aggressive against Latifi. Personally, I didn't think that Latifi is going to be the driver in front, but it's just sometimes that the script of the game um, interferes and ruins everything for you. You can just see Russell, a Series 12 driver, is just struggling against these AI cars because I think that in Champion Tier, you are facing AI cars that are at maxed level. So the thing is, we are going to be going for another three laps on softs. We are not going to be servicing this time. But for our final stint, we are going to be going for two laps on full boost. And the use of this kind of setup saves you a little bit because you can just see a normal pit stop without service is around 3.9, 3.8. And Charles overtook us on the hard compound. And Latifi is going to be stuck now behind um, Charles for the remaining of this lap. And we are down again to P19 and P24 with Russell. 
we did stack, but we didn't stack that much. And Russell now is under, under threat from being lapped, which is going to be um, a massive blow for us. So we do have two more laps to go. I can't afford to boost so much because, as you can see, we are nearly at 30% service. We are up to P16. Russell, we are down to P17 again. So we're just going to um, fast forward to the end of this one for the sake of the video because um, it's going to be nearly 30 minutes. So let's just fast forward here to our final lap and you can just see that my game was kind of lagging and I ended up putting the medium tires instead of the softs. Um, at this stage I believe my phone was burning a lot and you do know that the iPhones like they overheat um, because of F1 clash. I don't know, I don't really know why. But I do need Russell here to overtake at least one car. And all right, so he is up to P23. Each point we score in these races is gonna be honestly crucial. And I just want to reach the final round. I don't even care if we finish in P80 and P70. We just want to reach the final round just to be able to unlock this one driver or this one asset from series 12 and just imagine if we get Russell from our rewards and I don't even have the coins to upgrade him so that that would be um, a massive L for us so for races 7 and 8 I decided that I'm not gonna be recording them because uh, my phone was nearly full and I had no space to record them but after playing eight races, we did score 101 points. And to be honest, I personally do believe that in the opening round, you want to be using your fast pit stop time. Because this setup um, is going to be um, a massive advantage for you, especially if you are racing a real player. But at the same time, this setup, as you all saw, it gives you, let's, let's give it 90% chance of facing an AI, which is something you are going to be needing for this um, Grand Prix, because facing real players isn't going to help you at all. And hopefully on our mini account, which the video should be out um, later today, we can um, finish P1 in this GP. So this is going to be it for this one. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.